A Little History of the World. I was reading a part of this book and I thought I'd share something with you guys. Now, of course, anything about the history of the world is going to mention Islam somewhere. Now, here you see, oh, there it is. There's actually a chapter dedicated and interestingly, it's the Shahada. That's the title of the chapter. There is no God but Allah Muhammad is his prophet. Peace be upon him. Now, obviously, Islam's sociological impact is massive. And any historian who's going to write about the history of life on earth is going to speak about Islam. However, I was quite disappointed to see what Gomrick was basically saying. Now, here on page 118, he says this. He taught them, meaning the Arabs, that they should fear nothing and no one but God or Allah in Arabic. That it was futile either to fear or look forward to the future with joy. For their fate had already been ordained by God and written down in the great book. What must be must be and the hour of our death has been appointed from the day of our birth. We must surrender ourselves to the will of God. The word for submission to the will of God is Islam in Arabic. So Muhammad called his teaching Islam. He told his followers that they must fight for this teaching and be victorious and that to kill an unbeliever who refuses to recognize him as the prophet is no sin. That's absolute nonsense. It doesn't teach anywhere in Islam that if somebody rejects the Prophet, peace be upon him, as a messenger of God, that they're killed. Islamic society, Islamic civilization has always had non-Muslims living within its borders. And, you know, Islam doesn't believe in the killing of civilians, doesn't believe in this type of terrorism and extremism and, you know, all this stuff. And it's shocking that, you know, a popular book like this would, would have claims uh, which can easily be refuted uh, by anybody who reads the Quran or reads the teachings of the Prophet, peace be upon him. Additionally, the way that the description of uh, Qadr, of, of divine decree, is uh, uh, portrayed is very dark and grim. It was futile to fear or look forward to the future with joy. I mean, that's just like, that's not what we as Muslims believe. We believe. We have to be optimistic. We have to do what we can. God knows everything, but that doesn't mean that we shouldn't try our best to make this life the best, um, do the best amount of uh, good in this world. Um, and um, we should be, as people, happy. People who look forward to joy and happiness. And, you know, at the end of the day, in the Quran, it says, um, you know, truly in the remembrance of God do hearts find peace. So what is this, you know, that Muslims are not supposed to be looking forward to joy or... Uh, you know, Islam is this sort of pessimistic, uh, fatalistic, you know, and <laughs> um, murderous religion. Um, sad to see this in this book. I was expecting something better. But hey, I have my waffles with chilli sauce. That's going to cheer me up. <laughs>